Whatever it is that you're desirous of, it's something that God is capable of doing for you. You only need to trust in Him and be patient, and you will receive what you desire from Him. Patience is very important when trusting God for something we need in our lives. When we pray, God hears us and answers us. Many times the answers to our prayers are already working out into reality, but because we're unable to see the bits of it that are already working out, we easily give up and lose hope. God desires to give us what we want and need to live a victorious life. He's our Father, and every good thing comes from Him. He's only asking you to be patient and to keep trusting Him. There's no need for the rush. Be patient and you will get it. God is not late on His promises. He delivers right on time. Your ability to wait and to keep trusting God is very important. Trust in His redeeming power, and you'll see Him show up for you as He's shown up for several people in the scriptures. The wait is not denial. You having to wait patiently on God to give you something doesn't mean that He has denied you of that thing or that He doesn't want to give it to you. It could be that He's working on the case. It could also be that He's waiting until the right time to give you the answers to your desire. Our walk and journeys with God are individual and different from each other. Some people always get immediate answers when they pray for the things they need in their life, while there are some whom God tells them to wait before they'll get what they desire. You mustn't let someone else's journey determine your journey. Remember that we're on different timelines and so there's no need to compare yourself with others around you who seem to be getting what they need on a steady base. You waiting on God does not mean denial. Abraham was God's friend. They used to communicate with each other, and yet Abraham had to trust God and wait patiently on God for 25 years. But God answered and showed up. Although it seemed like he wasn't going to get an heir, Abraham still hoped and trusted in God, and God was faithful to him. God gave him a son as he had promised. Be patient and trust God, and he will prove himself faithful to you. Don't for a moment doubt him. Don't doubt his power or willingness to do anything for you. God is always, always willing to provide, protect, and heal his children. So don't ever think that God is keeping some things away from you because he doesn't want you to do well. Being patient means that you're waiting on God and trusting in his power alone. Don't go thinking that you want to achieve that thing you desire on your own. If you do so, you'll only produce substandard results. Be patient and wait for real and lasting results. For example, Abraham and Sarah, while waiting for God, tried using their human efforts to bring forth an heir, but they could not bring God's promises to pass through their efforts. In the same manner, we also aren't capable of making God's promises to us come to pass. We aren't responsible for God's work. God is responsible for his promises and words over us. Our responsibility is simply to trust him. Have faith in him and be patient. Always remind yourself that there's nothing God cannot do. He does things even when and where it has been deemed impossible. So don't ever think that God isn't on your side any longer. He is on your side. He's willing to help you and he's working on your case. Even when you don't see it, God is working for your good. He is paving a way and he'll make everything work together for your good. The Bible is clearly said that those who trust in God will not be put to shame. Isaiah 40 verse 31 says, quote, But those who wait for the Lord, who expect, look for, and hope in him, shall change and renew their strength and power. They shall lift their wings and mount up as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint or become tired. Patience pays a lot. Even our physical life proves to us that patience is key to getting important results in life. When a person plants a seed, they water the seed, put the seed in sunlight, and they keep doing this day after day. Such a person doesn't take a shovel to dig up what they've planted to see how much it has grown. Doing such will destroy the new plant. They'd have to be patient and wait till the plant buds. The plant will grow more and more and then bring forth flowers and then fruits. 
If patience is needed in our daily activities and physical life, how much more patience is also needed while we're praying to God and waiting for physical manifestations of the prayer? Being patient also means being persistent. While you're patiently waiting for God to do something in your life, you must also keep praying persistently. The Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. James 5 verse 16, quote, The earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available and is dynamic in its working, end quote. This is how great persistence is. It produces results. The Bible tells us about a woman who constantly needed something from an unjust judge. This judge was someone who feared no man and didn't fear God either. And day by day, the woman would return and seek what she wanted from the judge. She sought that the judge would give her justice over her enemies, but day after day, he would turn her down. She kept coming, and one particular day, the judge thought to himself, although I'm not afraid of man or God, I think I should give this woman what she wants so that she stops bothering me. This is how powerful persistence in prayer is. If an unjust judge responds to persistence, won't our righteous God who loves us so much also answer us? He will. He won't delay. He will come through for you. I don't know what it is that you're seeking, but God has the power to do it. Not only does he have the power, but he's also very willing to do it for you. He's your father and seeks to see you happy and rejoicing in his presence. Keep calm in God's presence and rely on his power. Reminisce on the several things he's done for you in the past times. God has always been good to you. He's blessed you, kept you, and elevated you severely. Let all these past deeds remind you of God's love toward you. Let all these past deeds show you that God is working on that thing you desire him to do. What is that problem that stands before you? Is it sickness? God will take it away and you'll be in pain no more. Remember that he's already paid the price for your sickness on the cross. He's going to bring your healing to a physical manifestation. Continue to have faith in him and be patient. Is it finance that's causing you to worry? Leave it to God and you'll see him do marvelous things in your life. Be patient and trust him and he will bless you beyond yours. God can take nothing and turn it into a magnificent amount. Remember that Jesus made wine at a party that had run out of wine. He made wine from waters that weren't so pleasant. Be patient. God is working on your finances. He's doing something marvelous, and he will turn around such that you would be shocked by the results that you get. Like the widow of Zarephath, God can give you overflowing resources. Trust in his power and don't give up. Don't lose hope. God has always been in the business of answering people's prayers, and so he's not stopping anytime soon. He's listening to you and he will answer you. Remember the unjust judge and the persistent patient woman who came to him daily? The woman eventually got what she wanted from him due to her resilience. If this wicked man could succumb and give her what she wanted, how much more would your heavenly father give you the desires of your heart?